is up today guys, this is a run of focus here. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to actually improve Daisy so that it will actually, you know, go a little bit better. So first we're gonna go all the way to our documents and then we're gonna load up Arma 2. And uh Arma 2. And one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do is right here next to GPU underscore max frames ahead type that into a one I already have it typed into one it should be like a a 3000 or something like that or 1000 I don't really know but just type in a one and then the one under it GPU underscore detected frames ahead type that to a um, a one also and after that you just file and then save that way it'll save it then you're going to want to go to Arma 2 operation error ahead which is Arma 2 OA and do the same exact thing to the same exact uh, parts of it and after you're done doing that I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Arma 2 so that y'all can see the uh, type of preferences that I do alright guys so we're back here on DayZ and so now it's time to show y'all exactly what you're supposed to do on DayZ so you want to go to options and you're going to go to video settings and I already have my stuff set so y'all can probably you can practically just copy this you also want to go into the advanced and copy this stuff but for the quality preference, it depends on what you're running on. If you're running on a laptop that has like less than 6 gigabytes memory or RAM, then you're going to want to put it on low. And if you're running on like 2 gigabytes RAM, very low. Because like, I'm pretty sure that low is like normal to that. Whatever. But uh, I play on normal because I have a 6 gigabyte memory um, com laptop that I use. But if you have a desktop, normal would be the same also for you. And the interface resolution really does not care. That care doesn't like just keep that what it is, because that's the resolution of your like computer screen. And the 3D resolution, I don't put mine at 83%. I don't know why it's like that. I put mine at 75%. I'm using a 6 gigabyte RAM computer with a dual car door. Do I mean, <laughs> a um, dual processor, and so texture detail. I don't know why all this stuff is like this. M low, and then video memory. I put that at normal. I one time put it at high, and it was it was still all right. So I might put it on. Now nah, I'm just gonna keep it on normal. Terrain detail. Now this is something that really takes a lot of memory out of the game. You're gonna want to put that on low because the terrain is like the whole entire map practically. The, the whole entire map, and that takes away a lot of um, RAM for your computer. And so does the shadow detail, so we're gonna put that in normal. Shadow detail really does not care. If you can if you even want you can just put it on disabled, which is what I'd prefer. Um, also disable VSync, because VSync is really something that you don't need. Um, post process effects. I really don't know what that is, but objects detail. Keep this in on normal or low, depends on your computer. Sixty byte RAM, remember, put that on normal. Anything lower, just put it on low. And I'm pr pretty sure that's it. Unless there is something that I'm missing. Yeah, that's about right. Um, I don't know what that is. Huh. I was checking on that. Interface size, always keep that on normal because that's just like everything else. And so, yeah, that's about it. Click OK and you'll have all of your stuff done. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial on how to exactly make your um, Daisy run better. Hopefully, this worked for you. If it didn't, then, you know, just look up another tutorial. I'm pretty sure they'll say the exact same things. And, yeah, bye-bye.